My big thing is that long-term care insurance, and I honestly think sometimes people over-insure they would buy more than what they really need. That's why it's really important for them to talk to one of their financial specialists to also help, because everybody's needs are going to be different. But then you look at it and you say, because most people say, I don't mind paying something for my care. I just don't want to bleed out everything. So we really want this to be here to, to stop the bleed. Doesn't mean you won't use any of your assets, but you want to be able to buffer for that home care. Because remember, when you're at home, you still have to buy the food, pay the lights, you still have all the expenses for being at home. And then when you start adding some of the cost of home care on top of that, it can really go through, go through assets pretty quickly. So the long-term care insurance is there to kick in and, and help with that. So the other big thing is because people have, you know, with good pensions, it's very unlikely that you'd be able to get any assistance with Medicaid if you wanted to stay at home. I've sometimes heard people say that, well, if I put all my assets in a trust, you know, and I get out of that look back period, then I'd be free and clear. But that really only applies if you have to go to the nursing home. It wouldn't apply if you wanted to get home and community-based Medicaid, because you will always be bound by those income guidelines. And there's really not much you can do about your social security and pension. And again, I think most people want to stay in control of where they get their care and, and who gives it to you.